everybody, I hope you're all keeping well. Thank you so much for joining me for another lesson. This one is about how to do a cartwheel. I'm so excited. Just a reminder to follow me at Flair Gymnastics and Dance on Instagram and Facebook if you aren't already. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn channel notifications on so you never miss another lesson. I've added a really great additional resource on my website. It's there to download as a PDF. It's hand and foot shape. So what you do is you can print them out you can then cut them out into the shapes and using a bit of blue tack or sellotape stuck on the back, you can place them on the mat or the floor. You can start off by letting the children try out their cartwheels in this kind of V shape or the triangle shape. And then as they get better doing their cartwheels and their cartwheels are a bit more spread out and a bit longer, you can start to spread out the hand and feet a little bit further apart and slowly start to put them into a straight line as their cartwheel improves. You can also colour coordinate it so that the right foot is red and the left foot is blue for example so that when they're going from one side to the other side they try to put the red on the red and the blue on the blue helping them to get their feet correct. Also additional resources on my website include tips for parents on how they can help and assist their kids doing skills such as the cartwheel. I also show some spotting tips that are nice and easy for beginner gymnasts on how parents can help them. It's great for parents who want to learn more about the sport of gymnastics. A quick heads up before we get started, the gymnasts will need a toy or teddy, something they can hold above their head. And there's an element of this lesson where they'll be putting their feet up onto a couch or a chair. There's also a small section where we do some bunny hops over a line. But if you don't have a line like this, you could use maybe duct tape to do one on the floor or a floor design or use your imagination. And lastly, just a quick note to let you know that I've included some cartwheel prep exercises that are done over a height, such as the block shown in this photo. If you don't have access to equipment like this, you can use any sort of safe and sturdy household item that could be used to jump over. Something like maybe a cushion, a t-shirt, a footstool, anything just to give them the visual for lifting up and over. Right, let's get those gymnasts standing up tall on their mat and we're going to start the lesson with a big ta-da, our professional gymnastics salute. Okay, gymnasts, are we ready? One, two, three, ta-da! Well done! Okay, gymnasts, let's get started. I'm so excited to learn cartwheels with you guys. Before we start turning upside down, we first of all have to stretch our legs out. So remember in lesson one when we did our butterfly wings, we're going to sit on our bum like this and we're going to lift our knees up and down to make our lovely butterfly wings or bat wings. This is going to stretch out our hips and make our legs really flexible. We can put on our little butterfly antennas or our bat ears. Well done, that looks brilliant gymnast, good stretching. We're gonna put one leg out now and then the other and we're going to do a nice big stretch up. This is called our straddle sit, you guys remember that? Let's do a double check that we have our legs nice and straight and our feet nice and pointed. Nice big space between our legs like we're gonna be doing when we do our cartwheels. We're gonna stretch up and we're gonna reach all the way over to one foot, putting our nose as close to our leg as we can. Well done, great stretching gymnast. This is a bit of a hard one. We're gonna sit up in the middle and we're gonna stretch over to the other leg. You might feel a little bit of a pull at the back of your leg, but don't worry, that just means you're stretching the muscle. This time, we're going to put our hands down on the floor and we're gonna walk them out as far as they can go in the middle and walk them all the way back in. It's like we're taking our hands on a little walk. We can do a little walk over to one side and a little walk over to the other side, all the way back to the middle. And then we're gonna walk our hands all the way back in. That was an amazing stretch. Well done, gymnasts. I have a challenge for you. Let's see if you can put your elbows on the floor like me. Give it a go, guys. Good job if you're able to do that. The next step is to see if you can put the top of your head on the floor. That's a really tough one, guys. How did you do? If you feel like you can go even further, try put your nose on the floor. I hope it isn't a smelly mat you're on. And then see if you can put your belly button and your nose down on the floor. That is the hardest stretch. Oh, well done, guys. Really good try from everybody. So I hope your legs feel nice and stretched out. Next, we are going to practice a nice shape for getting ready for our cartwheels. So we're going to go into our angry cat position. We have our hands nice and flat on the floor and our fingers spread out like a high five. We also make sure we have a bit of a space between our hands and our arms are nice and straight. When we get into this position then, 
to make it even harder, we're going to stretch our legs out behind us. So we have our hands on the floor and our feet on the floor. And now we are in our front support. So hold it there, gymnasts. Three, two, one. Well done. That shape will make us nice and strong and ready to balance on our hands. Good job. If you're ready for an extra challenge, we are going to do our front support again, but we're going to do it by putting our feet up on something high, like a couch or a chair. We are going to make sure that we have an adult with us when we do this one because we need to make sure we stay safe. So see the way I'm holding my front support but I have my feet up on something. So now when you guys see the smiley face pop up on the screen for this lesson, that means it's going to be your turn to try some of the skills. So you guys have a go now. Hands on the floor, feet up on the couch or a chair. Straighten out your legs and you're going to hold your front support for five four, three, two, one. Well done, gymnast. That was really good. I think you guys are ready for the next step where we do our bunny hops. So we make sure we spread our fingers out and we have a bit of space between our hands. We have arms nice and straight. I stick my hands to the mat and I practice pushing off my feet. Then I can practice going a little bit higher, balancing on just my hands. This is great to get us used to going upside down. Here comes the big yellow smiley face, which means it's your turn to have a go. So hands down on the mat, and you're going to do a big push off your feet, trying to get your bums up over your head, keep your knees tucked into your tummy, and have a few goes. So push off your feet, back to your feet. Bum up high, you guys are doing amazing. Well done, gymnasts. That was a great job at the bunny hops. I think you're ready to go and do a harder version, where we put our hands on the floor, we push off our feet, and then we lift our hands back up off the mat. So we start with our hands off the mat, they go on the mat, push off our feet, bums in the air, hands back off the mat. Trying to get higher each time, and just doing our best try. Okay, gymnasts, here comes the big yellow smiley face. It's time for you guys to have a go. So remember, we're just doing our best and trying to get as high as we can. So hands start off the mat, they go onto the mat, we push off our feet, we get our bum up high, we keep our knees tucked in, we land back on our feet and we lift our hands up at the end as well. You guys are doing such a great try, well done. Remember, if you need a break, you can pause the video and have a little rest. If you're ready to move on, we are going to do some moving bunny hops. For these, instead of just sticking to the one spot, we move along the mat. Our hands go down, we push off our feet, and then our feet come close to our hands. So the whole time our feet just follow where our hands go so we can move along the mat. Okay guys, time for you to have a go. You don't need to rush it, take your time, move your hands in front, jump your feet in. Move your hands in front, jump your feet in. The whole time trying to get a little bit higher and practicing balancing on our hands. This will help us to get ready for doing all our upside down in our cartwheel. Amazing job guys, you guys are getting really good at these bunny hops. Next up we are going to try sideways bunny hops. If you have a line you can practice on on your mat or on the floor or else imagining that there's a line, we're going to put one hand on each side of the line. We make sure we keep those arms straight and we're going to try from one side of the line to the other, doing a little push off our feet, practicing balancing on our hands and also getting used to moving sideways. Okay, time for you guys to give it a go. So one hand on each side of your line or your imaginary line, jump your feet over to the other side, jump your feet back. One way might feel a little bit easier than the other but good to practice it on both sides. Try to get your bum nice and high and make sure you land on your feet not your knees. Well done gymnasts. Next up, instead of doing it just over a line, we're going to do it over a whole section. So you can go a little bit further for this one. We spread our fingers out, we put our hands in a section and we jump further than we did the last time. Then we can keep on moving down our mat. So I move my hands to the side, I jump my feet across. Move my hands, jump my feet across. The whole time going sideways. Let's give it a go. So put your hands down on your mat, jump up over to the other side of it. Move your hands again and do another push off your feet. Well done, gymnasts, you're doing great. Keep going, we'll keep moving sideways along the mat. So we move our hands, move our feet, move our hands, move our feet. Well done. For the last go that we did, we had our knees and our hands facing the same way. They were both facing sideways. For this go, we're gonna turn our hands facing sideways and put them down, 
but our knees are going to face forward. So look at the arrows, hand sideways, knees forward. Then I'm going to do a little jump off my feet. Watch how my hips go up in the air and my feet land on the other side with my knees facing the way I came from. So it's a little bit different to what we did before. See the way my knees are sideways this time. A little bit different to the last go. So do you guys want to have a little practice? Give it a go. If you're a bit confused, you can have a look at that part of the video again. But let's give it a try. Hands on the mat. Jump over to the other side. Jump back. Try and get your bum nice and high. Well done. You guys are really brave to try this. This is really tough going. You're doing amazing. If you're ready to give it another try for another step, for this go we go hand, hand and jump. Hands up by your ears. Hand, hand and jump hands up by your ears. So we're starting to get into the rhythm of doing a cartwheel now with the hand hand movement. Your turn to give it a go. So starting on your feet you're going to go hand hand and jump. Lift your arms up by your ears and we're going to go again. Hand hand and jump. Arms up by your ears. Here we go again. Hand hand and jump. Arms up. Hand hand and jump. Arms up. Well done gymnast. That was brilliant. The next few cartwheel prep exercises that we're going to be doing are going to be done over a height, such as the block you can see in this photo here. I'm going to give you guys a few seconds to get set up with something that you could do your bunny hops over. And if you don't have anything to use, don't worry, you can just keep practicing on the mat along with me. Okay, are we ready to go? We're going to be doing bunny hops over this height. So I put my hands flat up on the block with my nice straight arms and I'm going to jump from one side of my block over to the other side, trying not to put my feet on it. If that's a little bit hard, you can jump your feet onto it and jump them off the other side. Or if you can get all the way over without putting your feet on, that's even better. Time for you guys to have a try. So remember, nice straight arms so you can hold yourselves up. You're trying to get your bum really high. This gives us more time in the air to get our feet over to the other side. Try to go higher and higher each time and try not to touch the block with your feet. You're doing amazing, well done gymnast, really good try. For the next go, it's kind of similar to what we did on the mat earlier, where we did our hands sideways, but we kept our knees facing forwards. So we're going to jump over the block again, but our knees are going to face forwards when we land. So watch my hands go down, I jump over the block and my knees are facing the block. Over the block, knees facing the block. Let's give it a go, Gemna. So hands go down, knees facing the block. You jump over the block and your knees land facing the block as well. Keep going, you're doing really, really well. Every time you try and get your bum a little bit higher. Keep those arms straight, well done gymnasts. So good, really, really nice job. If you're ready to try the next step, for this we do what we did on the mat earlier where we practice going hand, hand and jump. Arms up by your ears, hand, hand, and jump. Arms up by your ears. Do you guys want to give it a go? So start with your arms up straight above your head. You put one hand down and then the other and you jump over the block. Then you put your arms up again and try again. Hand, hand, and jump. Hand, hand, and jump. Well done, gymnast. Really, really good. We're getting closer to being able to do a car wheel. For the next go, instead of keeping our feet together, we're actually going to go over the block with one foot at a time. We can start with our legs bent, and then as we can get our bum a little bit higher, we can start to straighten out our legs a bit more. So we're looking a little bit closer to a cartwheel. So watch, I go one leg over and the other leg. Time for you guys to have a go, okay? So nice straight arms to hold yourself up. Jump one leg over and the other leg, and then go back the way you came. So we're practicing it on both sides. You're trying to get one foot and then the other. Trying to spread your legs out in the air and try to stretch them out as straight as you can. Really good, guys. This is getting harder and harder, but you're doing really, really well. For the next go, we're going to start standing up. We take a big step. We reach our hands towards the block. We go hand, hand. Then we jump over the block, foot, foot, and we stand up. So watch again. I go big step, hand, hand. Jump over, foot, foot, stand up. Watch, there's Luke having a go. Nice job, Luke. Before you have your try doing it, I just want you to quickly watch the foot that lands on the floor first. So the leg that comes over the top first lands closest to the block and the second leg goes behind me. So that's just a good point to note. Okay, so listen to my voice. Big stretch up, take a nice big step, 
reach towards the block. You're going to go hand, hand, and you're going to jump foot, foot, and then you're going to stand up. So just keep thinking of that rhythm. Hand, hand, foot, foot. Give it another go. Well done. Big step, hand, hand, over the top, foot, foot. Really good. Okay, for the next section, I want you guys to go and grab a toy, a little teddy, something that you can hold above your head. We are going to start practicing our big step. It's also called a lunge. So have a look at the screen so you can see what I do. I hold my teddy up above my head with my arms nice and straight. I take a really big step towards the couch. I put my teddy on it and I stand back up to finish in my lunge. Then I reach for it again and I pick it up above my head. He's getting such a fun ride here. Look at this. Reach again, pick him up. So every time I'm starting in my lunge, I'm ending in my lunge. So reach your teddy towards the couch, put him down and stand back up and then reach towards the, towards the couch to pick him up again. Every time we reach towards the couch, don't forget to lift our back leg up behind us as well, landing in our lunge each time. Well done, gymnasts. That's a really good practice for doing our lunging. It helps us to get reaching towards our cartwheel. For the next go, we're not going to use the couch. So this time we take our big step and we reach even lower. We're gonna put our teddy onto the floor. So have a look, big step. Reach down, 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 and as the teddy goes down, my leg goes up, and then I stand back up to practice my standing. Then I reach back down, I pick the teddy up. So this is great, gymnasts. We're reaching to the floor and we're standing back up. It practices the beginning and the ending of our cartwheel. Time for you guys to have a go. So pick up your teddies above your head, take a nice big step, bring your teddy on a big journey down towards the floor then I want you to stand up without your teddy and then you're going to reach back down to pick the teddy back up well done gymnast your teddy's having so much fun good job well done that was amazing you guys are getting so close to doing your cartwheels we're going to have one practice now of practicing our kicks so we did these when we practiced our handstands you keep your hands on the floor you do a few kicks and then if you're ready to keep your hands going up and down you can stand up after each kick as well this works the beginning part of our handstand where we do our kick so hands on the floor you're going to swing one leg up to the ceiling and a big push off the other leg so keep having a few practices and if you want you can try going from standing up hands to the floor big kick and stand up again have a few goes at this, you might want to pause the video to do some extra practice for it. Something else that will help us for getting our legs above our head, you can do this up against the couch or up against the wall. You're going to practice lifting your bums up and stretching your legs out into a big straddle upside down. When we do it, we want to make our legs really long and we want to point our toes. So you can have your toes pointing towards the floor and then see if you can get them to point up towards the ceiling. So this is something you can have a go of practicing. You could pause the video to have a good few goes of doing it. And then we're going to move on to our next section, which is going to involve our hand and foot shapes, like in the picture shown here. And we're going to put all the different sections of the cartwheel that we've learned so far, put them all together into doing a full cartwheel full out. If you don't have these hand and foot shapes, don't worry, you can make your own or you don't need them at all. You can do the whole, all the rest of the exercises without them and we can just use our imagination. So not to worry. I'm going to give you guys a few seconds to get set up and get ready. And then we're going to go on to the next section of the video, which is going to be full blown out cartwheels. So exciting. You guys have done amazing so far to get to this point. Okay, having a look at the screen and I'm going to show you how we use them. I put one foot on one foot, the other foot on the other foot, hands above my head, I go hand, hand, I jump across to the other side and I land one foot on one foot and one foot on the other foot, okay? Then I can practice doing it on the way back as well. So have a look, I try foot, foot, hand, hand, jump to the other side, foot, foot, stand up. Do you guys want to give it a go? So standing on your feet, hand, hand onto the handprints, Jump over to the other side and land foot, foot. Nice job, gymnast. Give it another try again, trying to go back the way you came. Don't forget to keep those arms straight so you can get over the top. Amazing job, gymnast. Well done. You might have started to notice that you prefer cartwheeling from one side of the mat rather than the other. So I like to cartwheel on my left leg, which means I have my left leg in front as I cartwheel over to the other side. Some people though might prefer doing their cartwheels on their right leg, which means starting with the other leg in front. 
So you guys have probably noticed by now which side feels a little bit easier. So that's going to be the side that you're going to keep doing your cartwheels on from now on. And just a quick reminder to remember to always land foot foot on your feet and never on your knees. So just remember, foot, hand, hand, foot, foot. Foot, hand, hand, foot, foot. Now with all those tips put together, it's time for you guys to start doing some practices. As your cartwheel gets a little bit bigger, you can move the hand and foot markers, spread them out a little bit further apart, and also start to move them into more of a straight line. The first foot that lands on the floor is always going to land pretty close to your hands. Getting that foot in closer to your hands is going to make it a lot easier to stand up out of your cartwheel. So when you're spreading the hand and the foot shapes out, put the first foot quite close to the hand prints to remind you to get that foot in nice and close for standing up. So you can pause the video here to do some practices and then press play to have a quick look at just the next section. Now that my cartwheel has gotten longer and straighter, I've taken away the hand and foot markers and I'm starting to just practice it on a line. A quick note about hand placement if you've gotten this far in the video. So you can either do your hands side by side or you can also do this T shape. So my first hand goes down sideways and my second hand turns in towards my first hand to make the letter capital T. So check out my cartwheel to see how I put all the different tips together. Here we go in slow motion. I take a nice big step or lunge. I put my foot down, so we go foot. Then we go hand, hand. My legs are stretched out on top. Foot, foot. Stand up and I'm finishing in my lunge shape. Have a look one more time and I've got one more tip for you about head placement. So we go over the top and I'm just going to go back to that section real quick to have a look. See the way my head is between my arms and I'm able to see where my foot lands. This helps us when we get even better at gymnastics and we start doing our cartwheel up on the beam. It means then that we're going to be able to see where our foot lands on the beam. So I look through my arms, foot lands, stand up tall, finishing in my lunge shape. Well done, gymnasts. Now it's time for you guys to just do lots and lots of practices for your cartwheel. Trying to get your legs higher each time, wider, longer, and don't forget to point your toes. Have a few practices there. So nice big step. You're going to go foot, hand, hand, foot, foot. Every time trying to kick your leg up behind you, pointing your toes up towards the ceiling, and making sure you always land on your feet so you're kept nice and safe. Well done, gymnasts. Thank you so much for watching my video on how to do a cartwheel. Remember, cartwheels are really, really tough. They're actually very hard. You're trying to balance on your hands upside down while basically doing the splits in the air, so they're really, really hard. So it's going to take lots of practice. Remember to go back and look at different sections of this video to practice different parts of it and pick up more tips as you go along. And it's just going to take lots of hard work, okay? The next video I'm releasing is going to be a fun gymnastics adventure that we're going to be able to do together while I tell you guys a story. I've also been working on some lessons for some older kids over the age of 7 plus. So make sure you subscribe to my channel, turn channel notifications on, so that as I release my videos you'll get a notification to let you know it's out. Thank you so much again and I hope you all have an amazing day. Bye!